Do you ever wish you could manage all of your books in the same place? Do you wish you could have a simple way of just moving your chapters around without having to mess up the entire project? Do you wish you could make your EPUB look like this? Or maybe this? Or maybe this? Perhaps this? Or I don't know, maybe even something like this? Maybe you want to have a little bit of flexibility on how you arrange your chapters and things? Like this, or this, or this? Maybe you just want to have a custom theme. If that all looks appealing to you, then you may want to look into Atticus today. Hey, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you enjoy the introduction, because that introduction is based on the program that we are going to talk about today. Um, that program is Atticus. If you know me and you know this channel, you know that I love a good writing program, and Atticus is going to be a big time uh, writing program that I'm definitely going to be hyping a lot in the next year. Um, and I want to let you guys know about it now because I, I've actually been using it for a while now. I've, I'm one of the early, early, early users of Atticus, and I mean, back when it was <laughs> it had a lot of issues, it, it's still it's still buggy, but it had a lot more bugs than it's got now, and I was using it then too. And um, I can tell you, it's going to definitely change the way that you know writers write. Um, assuming that uh, we use all the features and we use them all as they come. But I want to give you guys a kind of a preview of what this is. Um, I, am, I do want to say though, I'm not going to do a demonstration because it's uh, a little buggy right now. B, I'm not sure if it's actually out yet. Um, I know that they had a waiting list for a long time, and I know that some people got beta access over the summer. Um, but I'm not sure what the state of, of availability is right this minute as of early October, but I know that uh, they're going to be uh, making it public very soon. And I think the goal is certainly by NaNoWriMo, you should be able to get it um, and start using it. Um, but let me just give you a little bit of background because um, I keep getting ahead of myself on this. Uh, let me just start with the basics. Um, uh, Atticus is the brainchild of Dave Chesson, who, if you're familiar with Dave, Dave is uh, the, the creator and, and founder of Publisher Rocket, and I hope I got all that right. Forgive me, Dave, if, <laughs> if I messed that up, but um, basically the um, he's called the Kindlepreneur, and Kindlepreneur is the one that manages Publisher Rocket, and, and if you're not familiar with Publisher Rocket, that is the program that all writers uh, and authors and indie writers and someone used uh, in order to look up keywords on Amazon to see what the top sellers are, what the top movers are of that keyword um, in the writing space. It's a very powerful tool, one that every writer needs. Um, I have it, you should have it if you don't already, if you're a writer. And um, anyway, that's the same general people who put together Publisher Rocket. They're the ones behind Atticus. And uh, it is an ambitious project, but it's one that, you know, if all the vision comes together well, it's going to be a game changer. So I do want to make sure you guys have a chance to take a look at it. Um, you know, those of you who come um, who follow this channel, uh, I definitely think it's going to be up your alley eventually. Uh, I will say that at this stage right now, it's still early days, and which means a lot of the features they have planned will not be in yet. And um, so let me just kind of get a point of what that's about today. Um, right now, Atticus is in phase one, and what phase one means is phase one is the formatting phase. So if you've ever used Vellum or if you ever wanted to use Vellum but for any reason couldn't because maybe you know you don't own a Mac or maybe um, you don't want to spend the money on Mac and Cloud, um, Vellum essentially is the kind of the former tool that all the high-end authors use in order to make their ebooks look really nice. The problem with Vellum, again, is th it's like 250 bucks just to own it, and it only runs on Mac, um, assuming you want to do both ebook and paperback. I think it's 200 for just ebook, but who wants to do just ebook? Um, you know, but it's offered only, I think, four themes. Uh, and again, they all looked very, very nice, uh, and it was supposed to be super easy to use. And the, the what it produced definitely, you know, was, you know, probably worth the money. However, it's limited, and one thing Vellum, you know, other than refusing to come to Windows or Linux, it also refuses to add new themes. And so at some point, you know, you have to just think, you know what, I'm kind of tired of this theme. And so Atticus, you know, respects the fact that authors want more than just four themes. You know, you, you, every genre has got its own design. And so the good thing with Atticus is it has some pre-made genre themes already in there, but it also has a customized theme maker so you can design your own. Um, and it uses Google Fonts as its its main uh, source of font generation. So 
um, you are able to you know customize you know the layout of your chapter sub chapter um, and then of course the the body font um, but you know not that you want to mess with the body font too much I mean you really want to keep it either Garamond or uh, one of those but you know if you're doing like header fonts um, that's within the theme um, like there's one called Hughes that looks like um, an old John Hughes movie uh, and it's great for coming of age which I think I'm probably gonna use that for um, uh, probably Teenage American Dream will use it if I can ever f you know finish that book you know I've been trying to finish it since 2016 Let's see how that goes uh, but that's one example or um, or even the one I'm working on for uh, Kindle Vela uh, when that goes to um, the paperback version most likely he'll use that Hughes you know theme because it it's an 80s coming of age you know story um, anyway a lot of different themes you can use and if there's if what you're looking for isn't there you can make your own so that's I think in of itself good um, but that's really all you're gonna be able to do on the uh, initial rollout is format um, you can type in the program the writing component is not good right now and they know it and and you know they're not even trying to pretend it's good um, but it will become good. So phase two is going to be all about the writing and uh, making it a more robust writing system, you know, with an outliner. Um, they're even going to be doing analytics now, um, coming into NaNoWriMo, so you'll be able to track your word count and do all the things you expect a writing comp uh, engine to do. Because um, one of Dave's goals is not only to make it Vellum, but better. That's his, you know, that's a statement. But also Scrivener, but easier. You know, we're Scrivener, but less convoluted. Um, and so that's one of the things you can also look forward to you know maybe not today but down the road you can you're going to be able to get a program that lets you organize and, and draft like scrivener but not be be crazy about it not not have like all these you know unrealistic bells and whistles to go along with it uh but there's other things he wants to do too like he wants to be able to integrate with plotter integrate with um for the words which is a, a gamification system and there's just a bunch of other things that you'll be able to uh, make use of it as you know these new features come in and the thing with the programmers is the programmers are very fast they um, uh, I mean this whole thing's come together quite quickly already and I mean I've, I've known about this for a long time and I've actually been using it for um, quite a long time um, and I've seen the worst of it and you know I've seen what it is now and the just the leap from early early you know early stages to where it is now is uh it's amazing how fast they got there so i just i have high hopes that you know if, you know this phase and then future phases will all come together well um but other things it's going to be doing once you go past phase two and the writing component is they're going to go into phase three which is collaboration and so the idea is ultimately they want to make this uh, a place where people can collaborate through um, co-writing through editing through beta reading um they want to make sure that this is something that um, writers can share um, while not having to leave the engine but there will be also be some controls so that um, for one example like if you have a beta reader and you, have, you send out a list of beta readers one of the goals is to have the a list of all the beta readers who got the file and then I believe you can be able to track to see who's actually opening the file and there's also gonna be a button where you get to just cut them off once you know once they're done so that protects your, your file from you know getting out into the ether. So it basically it's got safeguards um, to make sure it still stays your document and you can still share it with those who you want to share. But then you can, you know, once, you know, you got it. So that's where the Google Docs element comes in place. So like I said, it was they're they're trying to take the best of Vellum, Scrivener, and Google Docs and roll it into one engine, while still allowing you to uh, adopt your um, practices like with Plotter or whatever else use outside of it um so i recommend you guys take a look at it um if you are interested um i'm going to link you to a few links in the description below um i'm going to link you to the atticus youtube channel because it's going to show you a lot more about what it actually looks like uh there's uh, a lot of demonstration videos on how to do things again it's not a perfect engine today so there's gonna have to be a lot of workarounds uh but the nice thing is the formatter does work works actually very well if you use it correctly so i'm actually going to also give you a tip on how to use it if you do buy it so stay tuned for that um don't go away because i you know you're going to miss the the tip of the day but um but i, I don't want to get off track um you can have uh, 
if you subscribe to their channel, you're going to get a lot of, of information on how to use it. Not to mention you'll get to see it in practice. And then, of course, as they move into future phases, you'll get to see the updates there, too. So I highly recommend you subscribe to the Atticus channel. And again, that will be in the link below. Uh, check out Dave Cheston's interview with uh, Self Publishing Formula. Uh, that's Mark Dawson and James Blatch. Uh, that just aired this past Friday. And uh, it's a good interview. It's, uh, it really goes through the meat of what he, he wants to do with this engine. Uh, and it talks a little bit about Publisher Rocket also. So if you're not familiar with Publisher Rocket, you'll get some extra information on that as well. And that's another tool you really should add to your repertoire if you um, if you are a serious indie writer uh, who does your own marketing and your own you know store stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, check that out. And then um, he tells you a lot of what he wants to do. What uh, and he's pretty honest about his feelings of where it is today. Like everyone knows it needs a little more time. So even if you get it today, um, it will be buggy, but they're going to crash or fix the bugs. So you just, like anything else, you know, you're, you're buying the future um, while still making use of the present. Um, the other thing I want to link you to is the um, page itself so that you can get a, a, an overview of um, just some of the other stuff that they're, that's coming out with all the phases and also give you an opportunity to sign up. Um, I don't think it's actually technically available uh, yet. I know it will be very soon, um, but you can get on their mailing list and find out when the next uh, option to, to buy into it is. Uh, it may be now, because um, I know they're planning on rolling it out by NaNoWriMo, uh, but I thought it was gonna be out early October. So um, by the time you get this video, you may already have the option to buy it. Uh, but I, again, if you can't use Vellum or if you're tired of the limitations, Atticus is already ready to you know meet that need. It's not as good as Vellum when it comes to the ease of use. Uh, so this is where the tip of the day comes. If you do get Atticus now and you use it to format your eBooks, a few things to keep in mind is that as of now, it's only doing EPUBs and PDFs. And the last I checked, the PDF is a little bloated. So if you, I don't even know if you want to use the PDF feature yet. Uh, or at least use it once, and then if it doesn't, if it's too big, go use something like Publish or um, uh, Affinity Publisher, uh, which you know is still my go-to for PDFs. But you know, use it works, right? Uh, but EPUB uh, works perfectly if you uh, if you import your book through DocX. Uh, it is not yet good for creating from scratch. So if you're going to create a book, I don't recommend you create it from scratch until probably phase two. Because I hope that by then they're going to work out all the, the um, internal formatting bugs. The problem is that if you copy paste, uh, it's going to treat copy paste the same way Notepad does, which is to blow up all your formatting. It's going to like chop lines where you don't want them to. Um, I had a consistent problem that it's still there today. That was there in the beginning. Is the last line of your uh, of your whatever you're copying and pasting uh, ends up at the top rather than the bottom. Don't know why. But that's the way it is. Uh, it just it's ugly when it when you do it that way, and so I don't recommend you do it that way. In time, sure, but not today. Um, same thing like if you're gonna do regular typing, you can type out the gate, but all the the best components are still you know in waiting. So um, while I think it's okay to do a book from scratch if you're gonna type directly in the program. Um, it is browser based, which means you might get the occasional hiccup depending on your speed of your browser, um, which is one of the problems I have, which is why I hate Google Chrome and doing anything in Google Chrome. There's hiccups all the time, but you know, it's the way it works sometimes. Uh, but if you if you take your Word document in the story, hopefully your completed story, and then put it directly into Atticus, what it'll do is it's gonna, you know, break up all your chapters. It's gonna know where everything should go. So it's like the the import is already really, really good. Um, it doesn't mean that it's your your you can import it and, and hit export. You, you do need to make a little bit of, of adjustments inside. So the number one thing I would recommend you do is don't use the built-in title page maker. Uh, and again, in time, I'm sure it'll be fine. But as of right now, you're better off um, going into either Photoshop or Affinity Photo, whatever your design program is create your title page inside of that you know and again make like an 1800 by 2700 or um, just a normal dimension that you would normally use for your book itself create the title page in there as you would normally want it laid out on paperback um, export it as a PNG so that you have the transparent background um, and then you can upload it as a custom title page into Atticus and I mean tell you, you do it like that 
you're gonna have a really nice looking ebook. And again, with the themes, all the theme options you have, there is no reason not to make a good looking ebook, even in its current state. Again, it's not super easy right now because of the bugs, um, but once you know what the bugs are and where they are and how to avoid them, you know, it's it's good for now. And then in the future, when they squash those bugs, it's gonna be even better. Uh, so again, like I said, you're buying for the future. Uh, I will probably link you for a fourth link. I'll probably link you to one of my books, maybe the Computer Nerd. Uh, Computer Nerd is a premium book and I normally charge $4 for ebook. So it's not something I'm gonna be giving away um, it for all time, uh, but I will probably do it for the month of October uh, if you want to check it out. Um, the uh, it'll go through Story Origin, and it's going to be you know PD. The the EPUB was the one directly um, created from Atticus. The Mobi um, Atticus does not do Mobi files yet. It will eventually, um, but right now the Mobi is converted through Caliber. So if you're using the Mobi form, you're going to get a little bit of a cheat there. But if you have the EPUB and, and upload that to your tablet or your, whatever it is that you read EPUBs on, uh, you'll get a pretty clear idea of what Atticus can do for your reader. So uh, I will go ahead and, and link that for you guys just for the month of October. So if you're watching this after October, you should have came here sooner. Uh, that's why you subscribe to the channel so you get the stuff ahead of time. Um, but um, you know that said, you will get to see you know what I made through Atticus. Um, so I think, I think it's worth it. Um, and again, this is like Atticus from like a month ago, from like early September or even late August. So imagine how much better it is in October uh, with a team that fast. So anyway, that's Atticus. Again, I uh, apologize that I'm not giving you an actual demonstration because again, I want to make sure that when I do demonstrate, it's the, the, the ready version. Uh, I don't want to be unfair to the developers by showing you guys a buggy product. But I do want to make sure you guys know that the product is constantly being worked on it will be um, much better than it is today uh, but it's worth your uh, worth giving a chance and even if you don't buy it today you definitely want to put it on your radar for the future um, uh, and again the, if you look at the page uh, where the app lives um, you can get more information from there uh, Dave in one of his AMAs he did it about a three or four weeks ago made it clear that phase three is not the final phase it's just the final phase uh, that's printed uh, but there will be more um, beyond phase three and and well you know it'll be really neat to see what that ends up being but I'm sure it'll be uh, a really great time um, and I don't think we have to wait that long to find out what that is I mean look how fast Marvel got to phase four so I'm sure Atticus you know doesn't have the you know restrictions of, of Disney and uh, you know big corporation you know holding it back it's pretty independent so uh, it has a lot more room to be flexible and to be fast. So um, I think it's definitely something you want to look into. Um, so if you get into it, again, it, it's going to be available soon, um, if not already. Uh, it, the waiting list, I believe, is done, but um, it, right now the, the button says early access. I assume that means you could probably buy it today and use it today, but I don't know for sure. So if you, if you put yourself on the waiting list or if you put yourself on the mailing list and you can't buy today, I'm sure that's going to change soon. So, you know, but you let me know what your experience is getting it. Uh, it's going to be $147 and it's going to be one time. You pay for it once, you never pay for it again. All the updates that are coming down the line, you've already bought. So that's the advantage of having, you know, Atticus also. It's, it's $100 cheaper than Vellum. It runs on all the platforms and it's going to go beyond what Vellum can do. Um, and it already does goes beyond what Vellum can do. So I, my opinion is it's a no-brainer, um, but I also understand that um, if you're the kind of person who wants a finished product, then A, it'll never be finished. Dave's already said he doesn't plan on finishing it. He's going to keep building. But that said, um, if you uh, want it to be a much better writing program, and again, if you're on this channel and you're watching this video, you probably want a better writing program, I can understand wanting to hold off for another few months, but you know you don't need to wait it forever um, because at some point uh, it's going to be one of those things where you're just going to be happy to have it, um, I think. So anyway, give it a look and then you know, let me know in the comments below what you think and then um, you know check out the links I gave you so you can get more information. Um, subscribe to Kindlepreneur too. It's a really good group. Um, it's one of the few that I really just, you know, I, I, they're very responsive. They listen to what you have to say. Uh, I just, I think they're friendly people. They're, it's, it's a, um, 
it's you know there's a lot of great articles this website looks nice like you know it, it's just it's uh, if you're unfamiliar with it today's a good day to get familiar so you know what? i'll put that in the link too kim Entrepreneur, check it out um but yeah and let me know if you have any questions um don't forget to like subscribe do all the things that youtube say to do and again for those of you who want the demonstration it is coming uh, i have no estimation on when uh but it will happen and i'm probably going to do at least uh one per phase uh that's my goal the the phase three maybe um because i don't collaborate um but i hope that maybe by then i'll have beta readers um if you'd like to be a beta reader let me know um i'm getting my uh, newsletter together now um so once my site goes live um, you'll be able to subscribe to the, to the official list. the list's on there now uh is going to be outdated soon so don't bother just you know wait wait a little longer when i open the site then subscribe you'll get a much better newsletter chain you'll get um, access to my bonuses including um read my shorts which is i did make out of vellum vellum um how to kiss the one the one i'm talking about right now uh, i didn't make a um that epub out of Atticus also so if you go on my mailing list you'll get uh, that book as well and that'll be evergreen so you can if you're watching this beyond october uh you can still check out the book i made in early um like well no mid-september uh with Atticus you can still see just you know what you're getting during the bug state you know imagine what'll be in the nice state um but i, I think that's everything i think that's good I, i'm sure this video is long enough so let me know if you have any questions um, and again, just I will have that that demonstration video up probably. I would hope that maybe by November, or December, I might have something to show you guys that's actually hands-on. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, definitely in phase two, if not phase one, for sure phase two there will be a video Get that going full demonstration. So keep that up. Okay. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and uh, don't forget to uh, go check out to Atticus. So. I think you'll like it eventually. <laughs> I, get, I gotta say eventually because I don't know if you like it today. It's buggy, but it, it won't be buggy forever. So just go get it. You're gonna you're gonna thank me sometime from now. If not today, maybe tomorrow. It's a good program, it, and it will be better. All right. Take care. See you next time. Bye.